All right, hey everybody, we've got a couple more prize figures to unbox here from the uh, mega unboxing video from before. Uh, this one here is the Sword Art Online 2 premium figure Asana ALO, or Alfenheim Online prize figure. This is another Sega prize figure. And uh, of course, on the outside of the box with these prize figures, they really don't. Uh, give you a window unfortunately to uh, view the figure inside uh, it'd be kind of nice if they did but they do put a picture on the box of the figure or representation so let's go ahead and uh, open this one up here and get Asna out and of course there really won't be a lot to put together with this one but uh, there we have Asana inside we'll go ahead and get the tape off here and get everything or the two or three pieces all put together for you all right so here we have the figure all mounted to the base which as you can see here if the camera will uh, focus does have the sword art online 2 logo down there and not a bad representation on this figure mm, not the best I kind of look at her and think she has kind of like little chubby cheeks on this one as compared to a couple of the other Asana figures that I have that are uh, a little higher quality than this one. But, you know, at the same time, the list price on this, I picked it up for 1,780 yen. So, you know, you're looking at 15 to 16 dollars. So, you know, uh, not bad overall though. Uh, decent paint job on this one. There's a little blurring in a couple places. Um, same with the outfit. It, the paint job on this, not the best. But uh, on some of these, you know, that's, kind of what you have to expect on the cheaper figures. So for the price though, not a bad figure and uh, gonna, you know, I, I'm happy to have this one on my shelf. So uh, that's Asana. Now let's go ahead and jump over to the next one, which will be Squid Girl. And here we have the Taito game prize figure. This is Squid Girl second season smile figure version two and uh, kind of give you a quick look at the box on this one. It was nice that they, you know, as I mentioned earlier, this, uh, it's not often you see the window on the prize figures uh, on the boxes. So uh, nice to actually be able to kind of see in, you know, if you go into a shop and see what you're getting with this figure, as opposed to just a photo on the front, which, you know, like with Asana, may not be as perfect as the photo shows. But why don't we go ahead and open this one up and uh, get uh, Miss Ikamusume out of the box. So this unboxing is Squid Girl approved. <laughs> well, that's what the logo makes it look like. Let's go ahead and get her out of the box here. And get the plastic. And uh, got a couple pieces of tape to uh, unravel on this one as well, but before I pop this open, we'll kind of give you a quick look at Ikamusumi here, and uh, much nicer detail on this one so far from what I can see as compared to the Asuna figure. So let's go ahead and get her out of the plastic and uh, take a better look at her. Okay, so an extreme close-up here on Squid Girl to uh, let you see that this one uh, much better done than the Asuna Game Prize figure was as far as the paint or the detailing on here. Uh, the only exception would be the dress where they did the pattern here and obviously just a little jagged in how it was applied. But uh, that's, that's really minor, I would say. You don't really notice that unless you're looking at it up really close. Otherwise, uh, the facial expression is done really well. Uh, I like the eyes, the eyebrows, that's pretty much perfect. The hat looks great on her, or her tentacle top, whatever you want to call it, and her uh, hair slash squid tentacles. Really nicely done too. I like the... Uh, kind of fade effect here that they've done with that. Uh, I like the clear base also, and uh, as well as the skin tone that they used on the legs. You, you notice that it's not just one color. They kind of have, you know, like, I don't want to say 
burned in, but they do have tone color changes, so it does look quite a bit more human, even though she's not human, but she is, but she isn't. However you want to look at it. But anyway, alright, thanks guys for tuning in to another video, and uh, we'll see you again here soon.